Good evening, nerds. So today, I have something a little bit different for you. I'm going to show you how to prep, cut, and light a cigar. Super quick. I know there's a ton of videos doing it, but a lot of them I've found have like a little bit uh, too much talking involved. So we're going to make this short, and quick, and easy, and then we're going to go have a smoke with a little bit of wine because we're classy. We're classy. So, first thing first, cigar out of the cellophane wrapper. The Gurkha Beauty. Beautiful, super tasty, really easy smoke. So, you're going to soften the cap here. I like to do it with my mouth. <laughs> I know, I know. Make the jokes in the comments. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. All it does is soften the tobacco on the outside, makes it easier to cut. I'm using my V cutter. There are a couple different cutters. Which one is the best? It actually, in my opinion, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Although, I have become partial to the V cut, so what we're gonna do is cut an opening that we can draw from. Get it a couple times. Very nice. We can take a draw from, see if that. Called the dry pull. And it's pulling pretty nice. So, now that we're cut, we're gonna light first, we're gonna toast. We toast the foot here with the edge of the heat on your butane lighter. Very nice. Careful not to burn it. What you're looking for is that nice glowing ring that will pretty much start out of the cherry for you. Nice even burn around here. And then once you have it mostly even, and mostly even like that, it'll even it out. Wouldn't match. I'm in my garage right now, so this should be one and done. Here we go. Nailed it that time. And that is how you light a cigar. Damn near perfect, if I say, do say so myself. So let's uh, let's open this bottle of wine and then uh, go outside by the fireplace, huh? Tonight I'm having Apothic Dark. Any Apothic wine, those red blends, I absolutely adore. Mmm. The Gurkha Beauty, just the flavor just sits so well in your mouth. It doesn't like linger and start to sting or, or taste too bitter or anything. It's got a great finish. Like, like a nice oily finish, I would say. Probably gonna do a review on it, but you know. Nope. Eh. <laughs> I love that 
that sound so much. Ugh, just gorgeous. Slunch it to you, nerds. Not a bad way to come into midnight. And of course, just when I get outside, the wind starts to pick up. But it can be worse, I guess. Mm. So notes-wise, on this Gurkha Beauty, I get a lot of leather. rich, oily leather with uh, some hints of vanilla, kind of like a darker vanilla, like a toasted vanilla, something like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is a good idea. <laughs> and well, we're back. Through maybe a quarter of the second third here, and it uh, it's evolved into that um, that open savory flavor, like uh, like that wood that you would want to chew on. You know, <laughs> I'm pairing it, of course, with a bottle of wine. So uh, it just finishes real clean, uh, real full, still real real flavorful, not but not too complex, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I like it. It makes for a good evening. All right, nighttime creatures. We are down to our last third. The back end of the last third, kind of coming apart here, but uh, but it's stayed lit this whole time. And you can see it right in the middle there. Still got a solid cherry. It's burning real evenly. It's kind of nice. I may, you know, torch the outside a little bit. But, ooh, but, uh, yeah, solid smoke all the way through. Gurkha really fails to disappoint, <laughs> if we're being completely honest. There was a couple times where uh, I may or may not have gotten lost in my own labyrinth of my mind, looking into the fire. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> uh super tasty all the way down to the back you know uh it's getting a little charry that's to be expected but i don't hate it i don't hate it it's like um it's like that it's like tasting <laughs> okay you ready for this one it's like tasting the smell of barbecued charcoal which is not unpleasant uh i'm gonna go ahead and finish this one and uh I'll be back with another one. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you.